the great thing about ISO is that it is a security-based audit. Um, and 27701 actually brings in, you know, 27017 and 18 at, had controls that were based privacy that you could add on top of uh, 7001. I love 27701 because it actually gives me the opportunity to do an in-depth audit, which then drives a lot of KPIs. Are we, are we making sure that we have all of the um, components documented? Do we understand the data flow behind our, where our data goes? You know, mm -hmm. yes, I've got a user that puts it in the UI. Where all does it go after that? And how is it being processed? Within that workflow and within that data processing, who has access? How are they gaining access to the data? How are we securing the system? Are we putting the underlying framework under it to hold it up mm -hmm. in case there's a situation that happens? Are we looking at ways to avoid a um, data incident? Mm -hmm. I don't like that B word, <laughs> so <laughs> I try to avoid that at all costs. Um, but really what it comes down to is the frameworks and the controls that you can put in place really should be a way to measure and to support growth for the company in meeting future things that happen. If they want to drive more work, if they want to grow the company, mm -hmm. if they want to do a lot of different things, you've got to have this framework. And yeah. The beauty of ISO is it gives you that framework.